it's been a very underdog experience to show because of our network, and, uh, where we came from, and what, what happened to it. Um, to see the actors' lives change so much, and my life change so much, and to see you know people coming back from all the other shows, the genres that they've had. It, it's, uh, it's it's a pretty great energy there. It's a pretty uh, exciting energy there. But for me, uh, you know, the, the writing part of it is every year it, it, that never changes. You, 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 I don't know why, but there's absolutely uh, having done it before does not seem to have any value at all. <laughs> it really doesn't. I don't know why. I, 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 it's good, I guess, you know, because I keep trying and I'm always trying to do something different. Um, and I don't want to repeat myself, but you would think that at some point there'd be kind of thing of like, oh, I don't have to do this, I don't have to do this. I read Malcolm Gladwell's book, you know, about mastery and all this other stuff. And I, I put in the hours. You've got your 10,000. I've got my 10,000 hours. I've written, on, I've written a, lot of, a lot of scenes, you know, two people going into a room. And, <laughs> but it doesn't, uh, the mastery part, I, I, you know, it's internalized so much. And also, the human brain is into everything. It's pretty strange. And, and uh, to have something like this that you can't possibly get used to. So tell us kind of where, where you're on the, you know, we're, we're, we're in the midst of it. We had, you know, five or six of them sort of beaten out, but looking at the whole season, and I certainly don't want to ruin anything to anybody, ruin anything, um, because I, one of the things that I think is the commercial value of the show is really not, not knowing what's going to happen. There's, you know, I'm completely in favor of all other kinds of entertainment, but I do think that there should be places where you have no idea what's going to happen. But I think thematically speaking, there is a, um, there is a, uh, as we move, people know that we're going to move through the 60s, they, they know the end of the story. So for me, I'm really interested in that, that phase of um, self-reflection and um, telling internal stories to scary people and often content very, very, you know, not a great thing for film or television. Uh, uh, but I am very interested in who am I. And uh, I have a character who has this, you know, uh, I'm going to generalize, I didn't invent this kind of person, this is an American literary archetype, I think, but who has this sort of fractured identity. And you know, I'm talking about Don Draper, who, who is uh, uh, aspiring to be a certain kind of person and trying to figure out what goes along with that kind of person. And uh, we saw at the end of last season, a lot of that was taken away. It was revealed to all the people that mattered, really, who he was. And so, that man without coordinates has to actually has a chance to turn to turn inside and say, "Who am I?" And um, that's the super intellectual version of it. And I hope it, uh, I'm, I'm here to tell you that it will not be entertaining in any way. <laughs> no, I mean that's the that's the you know without telling you the plots or anything. It's um, everything that we're dealing with. We are in time for change. It's not uh, our imagination. Um, and not just in television and stuff. There's been this technological explosion, and the parallels of the period that I'm, that I'm writing about are significant. And the parallels to just the change in the world. I don't know if you saw this Frank Rich piece about the Civil Rights uh, Act of 1964 and the filibuster that went on against it, and then Medicare falling in, and him saying, you know, there was a it doesn't, it doesn't matter what the bill is when there is a reforming of people's sense of, of who's in charge, especially in this country where, where they do have a voice, sometimes a violent voice. Um, you know, it may just have to do with them dealing with, uh, uh, you, as Frank Rich said, a, a, a black president, a woman speaker of the House. You know, they, 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 this, is, uh, this is a change in the world view. And you start saying, okay, well, what is an American? Are, uh, are we, we're always, this is not, I didn't invent this, but I think there's a kind of a tacit agreement I write about it that no matter who you are, where you're from, or what your origins are, this is an immigration based culture. It's been very successful because of that. As accepting and non accepting as we are, um, the, old, the ultimate aspiration is always meant to be a white male. And, uh, and you lose the sense of that importance. Um, as change happens, as it happened in 1964, as it's happening now, and I'm interested in that. But, and I think yeah. now, the show is sort of brought to the focus, but, um, you know, I, I've seen 30 something on the plane, and I've certainly seen you wish. And, um, but uh, I didn't know this was a 
commercially a good or bad thing, but I think advertising for many reasons, one of which it was such a beacon for that, but it was very similar to what I did with TV writing. It created people who get paid a lot of money and it's very hard to get them to work or show up on time, they're undisciplined, and uh, you cannot force them to do what they have to do, and they're always at war with themselves between being, you know, sellouts and, you know, which is incredible because TV, I mean, there's no reason to feel like you're a sellout. There's no reason to feel like you're selling when you're in advertising either. Unless you know you're doing something that you have a moral problem with, but um, no, everybody was. I found out after the show aired from a lot of old ad ad sets that they had all tried to sell an advertising show unsuccessfully, and then everyone liked the arena but thought it, it didn't belong on television because of all the advertising. <laughs> well, it's a big part of our life. It's incredible that. Anyway. Well, as you said, it really draws the. Uh, it allows you to really evoke the period in ways that are instantaneous. Well, I was interested in the fact that advertising, you know, do you want, do you really, advertising reflects the culture, reflects what the culture wants, it's a mirror. It's not designed to control the culture. Um, you can't, you can't control people into buying things. You can uh, appease them and pander, but that's still coming from them, what they want. And how do you sell people? And how do you sell about where, where you are? are. Exactly, exactly. Bill Abraham, who's now a director on the show.